guys want to stay up to date with my exclusive videos, make sure that you click the bell on the side to get notified. Here's the video. Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Bond here, Overtime Athletes. Want to share uh, some exercises that I've been utilizing with some of my athletes with you guys so you can start incorporating them into your training. You guys know that I've been studying a lot with the contrast or complex style training. And um, as an athlete, I also love to incorporate lateral and rotational movements as opposed to just linear forward and back. So one thing that I've been loving and one complex that I've been loving that I want to share with you guys is going to be the standing Russian twist coupled with a med ball side toss. So I'll go ahead and show you the advanced version that I've been using and what I'm looking for. So to start off with the Russian twist, you're just gonna grab the landmine. I just have it anchored here. I don't have an actual you know, landmine set. I just pin the barbell up against it. As long as you're pinning in the corner, the barbell really can't move, so you're still getting the same stimulus. That's all that matters. So what I teach my athletes is, I want a wide base and I want my toes pointed out. You're gonna grab the barbell so it's just right above eye level, about 45 degrees. From here, I wanna fix my elbows in this position. I don't wanna bend them, right? Uh, I, I don't want to lock them, I'm sorry, but I don't want to have them uh, bent. I want them slightly bent and locked in this position. Now from here with my feet planted, I want to go ahead and squeeze my butt and that's very important and then draw that weight down. The reason why I'm squeezing my butt is I'm creating a stable base from this position. Next from here, I don't want to drive up with the elbow. I want to pull, so it's more of a pulling motion. So I'm coming up, pulling, and then coming down onto the other side. As you can see, my feet stay planted, I'm exposed here, I'm pulling with this entire torso area here, I'm not pushing the weight, I'm driving it up, and I'm creating a stable base by rotating in my torso from the glute. So my glutes are stiff, bang, and I'm able to pull right here. That's what I'm looking for when it comes to that. Those are just kind of a little bit more finer detail points that I'm looking for. Once they've got this done, now I'm doing strength on this. So I'm going about five to eight repetitions and I'm going a little bit heavier than they normally would. Not know that they normally would, but you know, if they're usually this is a, a movement that they use for auxiliary, so they'll go, you know, 10 reps and up. So I go five to eight, so it's a little bit heavier, so we're training a little bit more strength. Then what I have them do is they walk essentially over to the wall and they're going to perform a ballistic med ball movement. Now, you can have a series of movements. There's a series of ones that you could do. You guys could do a simple med ball toss right here. One that I like to couple it with is basically an, a, a ski jump, all right, reaction to a me ballistic med ball throw. So uh, bear with me. But essentially what they're doing is they're having this from their holster. They're jumping out like a ski jump. And as they react, they're loading this hip and then exploding into the wall as hard as they possibly can. There's a few things I'm working when it comes to this motion. Now, with the weight being here, my midline is what has to decelerate it. So as I shift from here to here, my torso has to decelerate this weight coming this way. So I have to be able to stay tight and secure as I load this hip, now I want to generate that force. So again, the same way that I teach you guys with vertical jump and all of that, it's about absorbing force and producing force. This is no different. I'm absorbing force by jumping, right? My body's shifting this way. Along with that, the weight is shifting this way, so that's my rotational component. And then from here, after I load the hips, I'm exploding and coupling that with essentially a strong rotation or powerful rotation. So in real time, what that looks like, bang, bang. The big thing that I'm looking for here, the weight doesn't twist them all the way. I want them to decelerate properly right from this holster and be able to explode into the wall with as much force as they possibly can. So I've just been experimenting, playing with this, but I really like the results I'm seeing with these guys with them performing this movement. I hope that helps. This goes for any sport, it doesn't matter. I have my baseball, I have my football, any sport where you're doing anything in a linear, or I mean non-linear fashion where you have to rotate or move laterally will support you guys. So uh, hope that helps, Hot you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in becoming a better athlete, whether that be sprinting, jumping, strength, or overall looking like an athlete, go ahead and click the box here on my side and make sure that you subscribe to my videos here so I can keep sending them to you. Holler.